My name is Hanin Okal, a U.S. citizen from New Jersey Union County, located now in Gaza Strip. I have three kids, the oldest one, eight years old, the middle one, two and a half, and the last one, two months. I'm away from my husband who is in New Jersey right now. We're trying our best to get out of here from Gaza Strip. We tried, but it's not happening until this moment. Bombing is everywhere from north to shore to south. There is no place safe in here in Gaza Strip. Uh, uh, all U.S. citizens are feeling abandoned and feeling that they are left uh, alone. We really uh, need the U.S. Embassy um, to help us getting out from here as soon as possible please help us get evacuated safely my kids are feeling so scared i had to calm them down and get them distracted all the time i don't know what's gonna happen but what i know is that i need to be in a safe place me my kids i need to go meet my husband again you know the unfortunate reality is we're exhausting ourselves simply trying to explain our humanity to people um, but that's what has to be done um, because we feel like there's an urgency in the sense that if we don't do that, there's literally human lives at stake. If we, you know, aren't trying to slow this down, if we aren't trying to present Palestinians in Gaza as human beings, um, somebody might get killed because we're easily dispensable and disposable. And having been there and lived through lesser, lesser attacks on Gaza, nothing compared to what's going on now, I can tell you how terrifying it is to have a an F-16 drop, a, you know, multi-ton bomb adjacent to your house. You feel like you've been ripped apart from the inside is the best way to describe it. And imagine the impact that has on young children um, who are experiencing this not once, but twice. Some of them have experienced this four times and now around the clock, you know, nonstop. Um, and, and again, they just, they don't, there's no sort of light at the end of the tunnel and they don't know where to go and where to seek safety and what to do. I think I fluctuate. Uh, between a schizophrenic state of uh, disassociation, um, slight hope, and uh, quite extreme reckoning with the reality of things and the reality of what we all know is about to unfold in Gaza, what we all know on some level is being cheered for um, and facilitated and given a blank check to be committed in Gaza. My brother-in-law just uh, sent a message to my wife, to Ra, telling her, forgive us and make sure we're buried properly. And, you know, life is short and he feels that death is near. I had my sister tell me, should anything bad happen to her, I should adopt her daughter because she, you know, if she were to survive, she wanted her to be taken care of. There is no heroes right now in Gaza. Everybody's damaged. Everybody's burying somebody. And I, I hope I am wrong. This is going to go on for long. A lot more people will lose their lives. And then nobody's going to be held accountable. What's heaviest at the moment is what feels like the reality um, that the world is going to watch of people be killed mercilessly in real time. Hamas wants the population as a human shield. Hamas wants wounded girls to show to the world that he has people who are wounded and killed. We continue to encourage residents of Gaza City, go south, go south beyond Wadi Gaza. Hamas wants you as human shields. It's for your personal safety. We will strike Gaza City very broadly soon.